Hey everyone, I am so excited to show you a vlog of my trip to Costa Rica, Puerto Viejo. Here you see the Selena Hostel. It was so much fun being here. Not only was the artwork unique, but everyone was very friendly. Um, and as you know, a hostel is more of like a community-based environment. So they offered free dance lessons. They offered um, cooking lessons and you were able to eat the samples after. It was so much fun. So in the beginning of this video, you seen the top of the building. Um, where you can kind of look on and see the city, play some pool. A lot of people were just sitting around and hanging out for a little bit. And I just went down the steps, taking you on this journey with me, y'all. And I'm just showing you some of the unique um, artwork that they had. They also had some very rustic, unique, like, corners that you could chill in. That's one of them. I especially love the lighting, all of the plants. You really felt like you were in Costa Rica. Um, and here we are walking upon some of the dance lessons. Yeah, a lot of people got into it. I mean, it's free. So if you're into dancing, people started to do that after they ate at the restaurant. And so I'm just walking down the hall, just showing you a little bit more. Yes, all of the unique artwork you'll see against that wall there. I wish that when I was um, recording it that I showed more of the artwork, um, but you do see some in this video. The room was not amazing. It was comfortable, but again, it's a hostile um, environment. So here goes another little cute corner that I loved. And some more plants. I have to show the plants. It just made it feel so cozy. So walk me up to these stairs. I'm going to show you the area where they did cooking lessons. Um, and where people kind of just hung out and read books. Um, some people just pulled out their phone and hung out looking on their phone. But you can see everyone was in chill mode that you did see in this camera. Here's the kitchen area and it was just so cool so let's check out the room now as i said the room was not amazing but it was comfortable and you could still hear the animals and birds outside which was really nice some more artwork check that out yes um but one thing that i really really enjoyed and i know it sounds little but it was so unique and fun when you signed in they gave you a bracelet the bracelet was so cute and on the bracelet that was actually your key it does not look like a key but it is um and so that's their way of making sure you don't lose it and you take it and you put it over the doorknob and so i'm going to show you that in a minute but we were in 421 room 421 y'all hey <laughs> And here we go. I'm going to show you how we used our key, which looks just like a bracelet. I thought that was so cool. So you put it in front of the doorknob. It lights up and then it lets you know that it's open. Yes. <laughs> so cool. Here's the room. Comfortable, clean. It was exactly what we needed. We were staying here for one night. We really just wanted to get a feel of all of the areas in Costa Rica. So, very basic room, comfortable. The bed was decent, shower was good, bathroom was clean, very simple place. But I would highly recommend Selena's because of the experience I had there. So. We are going to move on to the next hotel, the bungalows. We stayed in the bungalows. It was so much fun. I have to tell you, this was my first experience in this type of environment, and I absolutely loved it. 
I loved hearing the birds at night. I loved hearing the monkeys at night. I loved hearing the sound of nature all day long. So I'm walking right into the restaurant. It's a restaurant that was very entertaining at night. Um, they had live music. Um, did not really eat there. They served Indian food. I'm just not a fan of Indian food, but it smelled really good and a lot of people came. It was a nice chill spot if I wanted to like check my emails because the Wi-Fi was not that great. But um, as you can see, clean right now. No one's there. I'm there very early. They did serve breakfast. We had their breakfast. Their breakfast was good. Um, but I did want to show the artistry because I thought their setup was very unique and made me feel like I was in a rainforest. So, got to show you that. All of the wood. You can tell that many things were handmade. I love that. Um, and you can tell they were thoughtful of how they put everything together. Look at these chairs. This is just a good example of knowing how people are being thoughtful about how you feel when you walk into a place. You know those chairs were handmade. So here we go. Come on this journey with me. This is the bungalow that we stayed in. Check it out. You are smack in the middle of the rain forest. Yes, you are surrounded. They had many of them, but they all were sectioned off so much that you did not see who your neighbors were. So you got the feel of having like your own space. Here's the patio. We used the patio many a times. Um, and it was very relaxing. Yeah, the hammock. Nice table. You could tell the table was handmade, pure wood. All right, I just wanted to show y'all everything because I love detail. So here's the room. Nothing fancy, all wood, very simple. You were able to see what it felt like to live in a bungalow in the middle of the rainforest. I loved it. The only thing that I can say, <laughs> look at Janelle, the only thing I can say that was not so fun for me is I did get bit every night. I did not enjoy that part, but because the experience was so much fun, I can overlook that. Here is the bathroom. I love the way the shower looked, as you know, the water pressure was not strong, but that was okay. This is what you deal with, and you learn to adjust. Um, yeah, you just learn to adjust, but look how nice it looks. I have to show you this, and I don't want to talk too much because I want you to hear what I heard while I was there. Enjoy!
Y'all know I'm a hot mess. I got four massages while I was in Costa Rica. Here is one of the rooms that I had a massage in. I love the fact that I could still hear the sounds of nature as I was getting my massage. So awesome. And I have to say, obviously, if I got four massages, that means they were great massages. Just take a peek outside, right smack in the middle of the rainforest. Yes. So that also means like that fresh circulation in the room versus when you're in a room with you know, windows closed and the AC on or fan going feels so much different. Just beautiful. So as you can see, all the sounds were therapeutic. And here we are at the beach. Here we go. So this beach was huge. It also had a restaurant that we ate at several times. It was so great. People were chilling on hammocks. People were talking, laughing. And the water was beautiful. Although the waves were very strong, the water was beautiful. Yes. And in a minute, I will let you hear the sound of the waves and not my voice. Here we go in five, four, three, two. Here's the Chameleon Hotel. I am starting with the massage room because that was a great highlight of mine. Here I am in another room at another hotel. This place was so much fun. I mean, it had everything we needed. The Wi-Fi was great. Um, they had really nice special drinks. Y'all know I don't drink alcohol, so... I am a little picky about what people can make for me and they were able to make some amazing coffee. The watermelon juice was amazing. I mean, it made me feel great. So here's the massage room, very comfortable. You hear the sounds of the rainforest here as well. Not as strong as the bungalows, but you could still hear the sound of nature. Absolutely loved it. This is the pool area, as you can see very clean people just hanging out and up further is the beach yeah and I also enjoyed that too here we go in the main office just checking it out letting y'all see everything because every hotel is different so when you go to Costa Rica please 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 check it out these are places I would recommend. We did not stay here, but we were there almost every day for like a day pass. Check out the sloth. So we're getting into the other very interesting part of this trip was to see animals everywhere you go randomly. So that was a sloth that you just saw us hiding now, not coming back out. Uh, so many, so many animals, so many. Yes, check this out. Right on the beach while we're hanging out, this is what comes out of the water. An iguana. Can you believe an iguana that big just comes out of the water? Well, that's what happens in Costa Rica. <laughs> Absolutely love it. But I've heard they do not harm you. Here goes a spider. Try to get close enough. I believe this is a poisonous spider, so I didn't want to get too close. Um, 
You can tell by the colors that it's poisonous. We saw some beautiful birds. It was hard to catch all of them, but if you zoom in, look close enough, you'll see this bird was beautiful. Just hanging out all by itself. Here goes the crab, you see it moving? Look, 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 oh! <laughs> It moves so fast. That was the best I can get, y'all. I'm telling you, I tried over and over and over again to get a good shot, and that's the best that I could do. Here is something someone created. Looked like a place that, I guess if it started raining, they could put some leaves on top and keep themselves from getting wet. But this is what I saw walking down the beach. I just felt like I needed to show it because whoever did this worked really hard very interesting take it all in here's a chameleon Look, there were so many chameleons at the Chameleon Hotel. No wonder why they call it that. So I got a couple of shots for y'all. Here's one. This is a smaller one. I was able to get some that were a little smaller and some that were just a tad bigger than that one. Listen, there were some bugs and animals. I had no idea what they were. I have no idea what this is. Looks like some kind of beetle. But it also looks like, I don't know what it is. Maybe y'all can help me out with that one. This one too. Maybe y'all can help me out with that one. I have no idea what these bugs are called. But they look very interesting. And we absolutely do not see these in Boston. So I had to record them. Look at these busy ants. Yes, carrying leaves. These ants were so busy, it caught my attention. I almost did not film it because I'm like, they're just ants. But I've never seen ants this busy. They're on a journey, they have a vision, and they are serious. Here goes a nice photo of a grasshopper. I was able to get close, so cool. So. Me and my best friend, Lovely, decided we were going to go zip lining. Lord help us. It was interesting. I'll leave it at that. Very interesting. Of course, during my trip, I found time to lay back and relax and get some rest. It was needed. But I also had some amazing moments like this one where we were able to sit in a toque toque and take some pictures and this is kind of how we traveled a lot in a tuk tuk relax your eyes so you can see this horse real quick oh that's the best i can do i'm sorry you all i apologize this is a fruit and this fruit is called rambutan it was delicious i enjoyed it you take the shell off it looks weird but it's really good my son loved them my husband was like mm, not bad so try that if you ever go to Costa Rica and there was also some amazing buildings and artistry that I wanted to show this is just one thank you for watching